morning guys or whenever you're watching this <laughs> it's off to work just had the coffee so kind of I was watch I got stuck on watching a um, an interview or it's not really an interview it's uh it was just kind of a uh, him speaking um, one of my favorite uh, horror special effects artists he's mostly known for his horror stuff uh, Tom Savini and he was speaking about uh, that he went to a, a a school and it was called ask me anything and they were asking a bunch of questions it was really neat to actually see that of course it's just a lot of rehash stuff i mean it's just like come on i mean he's answered some of these questions i, I can't even count how many times in interviews i would have thought they would have came up with better questions but anyway that's the way it goes but off the work it's time to hit the grind so i'll pick up later <laughs> So this is the just cleaning and stripping this because all the uh, old oil in there got so gummed up it's starting to seize up this gun so just kind of lightly coating it back uh, just got done cleaning out all that other junk and everything like that so yeah it was pretty bad so just kind of checking the uh, this right here making sure this runs free Got home. I'd say this one's not doing too good. McDonald's changed the, f the pie box. Or is it, I don't know, All right? They changed the pie box. Guys, so, well, uh, nightfall has happened rather quickly, and yeah, so. Anyway, the grease outside from what I am seeing is the stuff that's on the concrete where I guess it's being, some of it's being absorbed by the concrete it seems to be getting a weird effect. But, um, but I just was thinking today too, uh, regarding of the grease, it's meant to go on in a very thin coating of it and whatnot. So, it, it, you know, it's a really hard call. I, I think, uh, to me, uh, just after doing these uh, little, doing this, running this little test and everything like that, uh, I think it's a, it's a call of if you're going to store the gun for a while, if it's going to be a gun you're going to bag up and put in the safe and it's going to probably pretty much not come back out for a long time, I think there's a certain type of grease I would look for. I don't think I would just go and grab some $5 Walmart grease and smear it all over this gun, especially if it's something that's uh, collectible or, or could grow in value or something that I may not look at for years or something like that. I think I'll just I'll try to invest into something uh, that's going to work. And there's there, it's really hard, and even for me, like, you can't, you cannot, uh, uh, in a sense... Um, deny the the standard break free CLP you know so um, I will say this I've had really really uh, negative reactions with the green stuff alright I'm not gonna say any names you guys pretty much know what that is uh, I've had really negative reactions with it it's it turns into tar it literally turns into tar and the gun seizes up and just all the moving parts just like it's like molasses yeah so i've had really bad experiences with that uh again you know it, it's definitely probably not using it properly you know not uh you know I, I don't know but there again they say not to mix that stuff with uh, any other petroleum based products in fact you got to strip all the uh, existing stuff off your gun and once you use that stuff strictly only use it I didn't like that um, now that's uh, who's to say that uh, mixing 
other types of things together won't do the same thing so I don't know uh, the other thing I wanted to test out was uh, that home brew stuff that I've been using which is uh, part motor oil uh, what is it um, four parts you know mobile one oil or whatever to one part uh, automatic transmission fluid I've been running that on some stuff so I don't know we'll see again it's pretty hard to not go with the old CLP but I was just trying to look at cost cost measures and all that so I don't know we'll see always got a can of croil over there the old standby stuff so anyway I did do a video real quick with this uh, this Dylan 650 but and it wound up being like a really long video. I didn't realize that it went eight, eight minutes. Uh, so I'm not going to include it in the vlog. I'll uh, include it as a separate video. So you'll see that separately on this channel. Uh, I'll just upload it. And plus, I don't know, you know, not too many people uh, are interested in watching an eight minute video, I think, uh, on how this machine works. But uh, I'll, I'll post it up there separately so you can choose if you don't want to watch it. That's fine. So, but yeah this is it this is kind of my little reloading station I, I do and uh, we have not been to the range for a while we have not been going to the range because a uh, friend of mine's been really busy uh, Sundays is usually I, the day I go up to the my other friend's place but that's been occupied by other things and uh, man I just uh, the more I see all this stuff the more it's like I gotta get back to the range man I gotta make some range videos uh, the main channel has been definitely deprived of uh, range range videos and shooting videos and things like that. So, uh, got to get back to it. Definitely, it, that the range material definitely slowed down for the main channel there. So, and yeah, we'll see. I get back and do some more of that stuff. Got to use up some of this lead uh, from Badman Bullets. I still got uh, a little bit of this 44 round nose flat point stuff here in 200 grains. I still got some more of that 240 grain semi wide cutter. Still got some 230 grain 45. And, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know what the uh, other box is here. Okay, that's the uh, 44 lead, caliber lead stuff. I still got some of that. So, anyway, yeah. Hmm. What else is around here? Not much. Anyway, get ready to wrap up this video and upload it. Again, just a Friday, just uh, going to work. Not much to film at work other than just being bored and not many people coming in today. The, this week was rather kind of a slow week at work. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> not much to not much to report on the front on that one. But anyway, uh. I guess I'll get this video uploaded and yeah call it that tomorrow's the radio show JW's radio uh, so check that out main channel it's Saturday morning again it's gonna be Saturday morning so we did that um, we got that video taken care of already so that video is ready to go it is in the can and ready to be uploaded as they say so yeah alrighty well that's about it. Not much else to report other than this junk laying on the ground. <laughs> it's been a mess. Yeah, a lot of things have been a mess. I've yeah, just been going through stuff and uh, just separating a lot of stuff around here and figuring out what's go what I'm keeping. <laughs> anyway, alrighty. I'll see you tomorrow.